Today, I mean business. My name's Jordy Johnson. My name's Grumpy Jesse, and this is Carving Fusion by Jordy Johnson. See ya. Okay guys, I got my pencil sharpened. What we have here is a piece of cedar, once again from that old, old um, cedar slab that I once got and it was all sliced up. You can see the saw mark still here. I did take my orbit sander to it, to it to try and clean it up a bit better before I started doing drawing. But it's a part of a burl, guys. You can see that area right there, how, like why is there face grain along with edge grain. That's how you can tell burls because burls do all this weird kind of crap stuff. So what I'm going to be carving on this piece, it's not very thick. I don't have very much depth. So there might be some negative space. There's a shout out for my buddy Pete Blair. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I'm going to be carving a Grim Reaper. That's what I'm going to do. I've been wanting to do one for a while. So I'm going to draw it on. There's not going to be too much talking in this video, just lots of carving. Um, I've never carved a Grim Reaper before, but I, they're a lot like the wizards, you know, like, but the Grim Reaper, I don't think should have a face. I just think it should be black. So you got to make his, uh, what's his, his tool thing too, whatever it's called. I forget the name of it. I'll think of it. It's always good to have reference pictures, guys, like this Grim Reaper here. Oops, wrong way. Oops, wrong way. Point, point, point. But you see like, uh. I want my Grim Reaper to have wings kind of like this too, right? So I don't know. I've carved wings a couple times. So I'll try and get that incorporated. To, that, what's a staff? Not a staff. His, uh, what's that stuff they used back in the day for uh, cutting hay? So anyways. That's what I'm going to be carving today. It's not going to be this exact same shape. Not exact same sh thing. But it will be similar, I hope. I want it to be dark. Maybe I'll be put some ghost skulls in there and some flames and stuff. I've done I've done the ghost skulls. I've done the flames. Um, so let's see where it goes. Okay, guys. Before I get into it, I just want to show you I'm using my cut soul extreme flame burr. Uh, go to the description down below. I'll take you to the Kites Cuts All site. Use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. This is the Flame Burr Extreme, my favorite go-to burr. Also, you have these Taper Burrs Extreme, my second, second favorite go-to burr. Okay, so this is what I got so far. That's deep carving in there, man. A lot of carving. Okay, so this hand is going to be like pushing out this way, and this hand's going to be coming out like this hand's going to be aiming that way, and this hand's going to be coming this way. The Grim Reaper is just, I believe, all of it can be is a, a figure of your imagination. You know, there's so many different styles and things of Grim Reaper, so I was just carving. That's all. So, like this hand's going to be coming out this way, aiming towards you, so it's, his elbow is kind of pushed back. I don't know, it's kind of tricky for me to do. This is just still rough, guys. Okay, so the Grim Reaper that I, the Grim Reaper that's in my mind doesn't have face or doesn't have fans. It's a, it's a ghost, and all you see is the cloak, right? So, this is a wing that I drew out, and cut out with a piece of paper so it's a template let's see here so I'll, I'll I'll draw this out on one side and then I'll draw it out 
exact same on the other side so you got two wings that, that are the same if you can make sense of that I don't know I'm half mental guys so okay so I'll get these uh, wizard I'll get these wings uh, drawn on and then I'll set up my camera and do some carving on uh, the wings okay so that's what it looks like with the wings uh, drawn on and um, I just painted it inside up with my black felt marker the black face just for the fun of it okay guys I just want to take a quick minute carving here and I want to really talk about fading out your cut lines okay so when we put our cut in here we're going to cut this in about that deep and just watch how I let the tool do do its own work guys and don't let this button sit in your hand on your hand because you'll wear out your shaft so always when that's like that just turn it away from your hand so it sits on the outside See, I'm just letting the tool do the work. Okay, I'm going to finish off these two cuts and I'll be back in a sec. Talk about feathering away your cuts. Okay guys, I thought I was filming when I did this part. You see how that wing sticks out there higher now? But I wasn't filming. Damn me, Jordy. Okay, so let's feather away this cut, okay? I just want to explain it. The best, simplest, best way I can explain it. So we already got our cut straight in there. It's about that deep. Gur deep. Gur deep says it's that deep. Hey guys, when I say feathering away your cuts in all my other videos, I don't just mean make a like make a steep hill here or there. Pretend this is a hill, okay? I don't mean make it steep like that. I mean take it all away in a nice slow gradual hill coming to this side. Pretend this is the top of the hill and we just want to go nice and slowly down there. That's what feathering means, right? nice and slow down to the inside cut so you don't see any cut marks there because you might not see cut marks when you're and put your finger here and feel it feel if you can feel bumps this is all going to be carved away into flames and skulls and stuff over here and up here and stuff like that but I'm just trying to explain okay so what you do is you just you just take your time and you let the tool do the work keep on taking it away gradually See, I'm just letting the bird do the work. Okay, so we got this one. Let's switch to this. Let's speed it up, eh? The good old Merlin 2. This is what I use this tool for, not really for carving. Gradually taking it away, slowly up this way.
Okay. You see there? How now it's gradually slowing, go, slowly going away from the wings. The wings are higher, and you don't see a quick boom there. Just like underneath the, the wood spirit uh, noses to their mustache. Why don't you guys just do that quick cut and leave it steep? And this is what I do. I always feather it away. Make it like a. This is the top of the hill. Make it a slow hill going down to the cut because then you won't notice the transition. Okay, so I'll finish all this cutting the wings out and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, there you can see that the wings are sticking out farther now. You can tell by the shadows here and stuff like that. So now at this point, I just sent just carve. Oh yeah, I just sent just carve Rob a picture of this and ask him what he thought. He goes, "Look, Jordy, it's Batman," and he goes, "Cool." And then he goes, then I said, what do you think? He goes, the, the Reaper don't have wings. Well, just carve, Rob. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the Reaper, in my, my Reaper, does have wings. Are any of you guys friends with the Reaper? Have you ever met the Reaper? Can you tell me the truth if he has wings or not? The Reaper is a figure of the imagination. And he's... He's here to take our lives away. He's the one that decides where we go. I think he's the one that decides if you go to uh, heaven or hell. Or I don't I don't know. I don't follow religious stuff, guys. But my reaper has goddamn wings. Look. Sure does. Okay, enough of that babbling. So let's draw some uh, flames on here. I, I used to, before my injury, when I was on the phone or something, I'd always doodle. I'd always draw flames and stuff. There's all different sorts of styled flames. These ones are going to be layered, okay? So let's, uh, I'll get it laid down. Put my phone on the tripod up here. Homemade tripod. Overhead. And then uh, draw some fl flames on. I also think this piece is going to be too big. Look, it kind of looks like Jesus from here. Anyways. <laughs> it does. You stare at it. Um, this piece is too big, so I'm going to end up cutting it down here, right, with my bandsaw. Or a jigsaw. So I'm going to draw the flames starting here. I'll draw a line. Hey, let's just do it right now. This line's for you, Jess Carve Rob. This line's for you. Okay. Yeah, let's keep that point sharp. Actually. Let's keep both bottom lines sharp. But that will break off, so that might be too sharp. Yeah, anyways, let's draw some flames. Okay, so I said this will be the bottom, but we'll figure it out. So <clears throat> I got this pencil here. I'm just going to quickly sketch on some uh, flames. They won't be my final ones. And like I said, uh, they'll be la they'll be layered flames. Uh, that's why it's good to use a eraser when you're doing these this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's get a pen here. You know, with flames. <clears throat> Believe me, I'm not, I'm no pro flame carver. But you don't want to do this. Okay, I'll explain something here right now. You don't want to get cow ball flames, okay? So you don't want to do this, then this. Look, you got a set of cow balls. You don't want cow ball flames. I sure know I don't want cow ball flames. I, those big cow balls or whatever kind of balls they were that those guys used to have with the big trucks and have them hanging off the back of the trucks. Um, seeing that stuff. But anyways, hope you guys haven't had cow balls on your uh, trucks. Now I'm making a freaking mess. Okay, so...
These are just uh, rough. Man, that kid is such a screamer across the street. God. Okay, so it's going to be carving these in is going to be like um, doing the wings, right? I'm going to carve straight up and down, then I'm going to feather it away, and then we'll put another layer of the flames on here, and then we'll make the flames go up the side too. And then there's going to be lines up here like this, like my typical spirit lines, and then there's going to be ghost skulls in, the, in those lines, like this stuff. Okay. Okay, so I'm finished carving in the first layer of skulls. And I also undercut inside the wings, excuse me. Um, and I undercut just a little bit inside the flames because there's going to be another layer of flames too. And I'm going to try and make them kind of going up the side. Then those lines will come out of them and stuff like that. So here's is the reaper's, whatever you want to call it, cloak or whatever. The flames will kind of be riding up it and then you, it will bleed out into there and stuff. So what I did to carve inside here, you guys can see the depth I got there. I'd say about half an inch. I use this, uh, oh, also I've been using my, um, for the flames, I use my Ram Power Micro Carver, okay? Um, but what I did to, to carve inside here, I just got this bit here. See, it's flat and it's got carvers on this side. And I just went along and just buzzed it all out, took my time, enjoying. I wish um, I could use the music that I listen to on these videos. Well, then maybe I might, uh, I don't know, lots of the older folks might not like it. But I love the band Tool, like T-O-O-L. It's such a great band when you're carving and it's, it's such an artistic band. And I don't know, I just love listen, cranking that tunes and just uh, listening to it. So anyways, enough talking. So let's uh, get the next layer of flames in. Okay, like I suggested in my other videos, I'm going to use two videos, two pens. I use the red one as my uh, template, and the the black one as my final. So the next layer of flames is going to be below these layer, this layer, right? So let's see here. Um, I should really be using a pencil because I can really make a mess here. Okay, so use your wind lines, guys. Um, uh, yeah, I already kind of screwed that up. But you got to be real fluent. Like, so, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So you got to continue this line from this one. And we'll go, we'll do a big windy flame. Up here. Kind of see what I'm doing with that. So I'll, I'll change it up. I'll put another one over in here. Not a cow ball flame, but. That just seems a little bit too solid for me in there. So, okay guys, so you can see how I'm going to go. The next layer is beneath these flames, right? You can see that? So, and I'll just get this drawn on and I'll be back. Okay, so there you guys can see that I got the flames drawn in. I'm not too sure about this one, but that's okay. I got my cuts all extreme taper burr on my uh, Ram micro carver, okay? And I'm going to cut straight up and down on all the lines. Let's get some better lighting here. Lighting's very important, guys. See, I got this lamp. I can move it all the way around everywhere and stuff on my table.
See, I'm just following on the outside of my lines. Let's do one more cut here. And don't be afraid to extend your cuts too, right? Because this is all going to be carved flat, all this stuff on the outside of the flames. Okay guys, so I'll get this done and then I'll be back, okay? Okay guys, so this is what we got so far. See the layer of flames in there? Still needs a lot more details, a lot more touching up. Let's move this light around so you can kind of see if you... Yeah, so there you go. So I'm going to leave this video here. Because it will be just way too long if I keep uh, filming and carving. I'm basically done for the day anyways today. So tomorrow what we'll do, be doing is carving some lines like that. Like ghost, um, like spirit lines with ghost skulls in it. Just like the eyes and nose and maybe a little bit of mouth. Just real small ones. Um, I still got to make them a, uh, one of those. Come on, what's the name of it? It's what they use to cut hay. I know what the name of it, but I just can't think of it. Um, so it's going to be sticking off here and kind of tilted up that way. And uh, yeah, so that's about it so far. And we still got to detail those wings. I know it's kind of an evil piece, guys, but it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And um, I don't know. Hope it turns out. Looks like a moon up top there, doesn't it? Anyways, hope everybody's good. And uh, we'll see if we can get some more of this done tomorrow. Take it easy. Love to read the comments. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, it'd be cool if you could subscribe if you want to learn more about wood carving. And guys, we have our uh, Facebook group, World of Wood Carvers, and uh, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. And we also have a uh, live chat every Thursday night, 5 o'clock Pacific time. I uh, hope to see you there.